So the more I look at these SHIB charts and the BTC charts and where we're at in this cycle, the more I'm convinced that we are going to go on a run in the very near term here when it comes to Shiba Inu. Now, it's tough to really gauge because we don't have multiple market cycle data for SHIB. So we have to reference BTC. And I've said many times that when we look at the BTC charts, we are very, very similar to what we experienced back in 2016. All right, we closed the year on a high note in 2015. We rallied to close the year. We faced some slight consolidation to begin the year, and then we got on our nice run all the way until the halving. Now, when we look at these BTC charts, again, we're following a very similar path. And in fact, I did some uh, some charting here. I've been messing with this for hours, guys, trying to figure out where we're at. And this is how we actually started 2016. So you can see that this, this bars pattern, you almost can't even see where it's at because it is eerily, eerily similar to what we experienced that time. In fact, even the drop that we experienced is to a very similar level. Now, where this gets a little tricky is at that time, the halving was at a, a later time in the year. All right. There was more time for the charts to do this, to go on a bigger retracement. Some might say that we could go down to 38 K theoretically it is in this chart here, right? But when we look at where the Bitcoin halving is, you can see the run that basically ran from this point now until the halving. All right, this is that move that I'm talking about. Now, this is a strong move for BTC. This is actually setting a new yearly high or a new all-time high. I'm sorry, new all-time high. And this kind of makes sense because over the next few months, again, we're talking about major capital influx when it comes to BTC, dragging the rest of the market up. Now, again, during these times, this is when you have altcoins gaining dominance over BTC. It happens cycle after cycle after cycle. Bitcoin is losing dominance in the market. Maybe kind of a weird scenario where it, it stays pretty consistent with the last market cycle because of these spot Bitcoin ETFs. But when we look at this SHIB chart, again, I'll reference back to this very bullish move that we're looking at making here. Again, we're playing into this five wave pattern. We're following this perfectly. And this is looking at the pump that we had to begin 2023. That may pale in comparison to what we may experience. It may be not quite enough, right? It's possible that we could also turn this into a head and shoulders pattern. We could flip over, create the right shoulder, come down, test this fire sale range again. Who really knows at this point, right? Obviously, a lot of what we're experiencing today is, is because of some negativity and some FUD that is being put out there. You know, Elizabeth Warren is pushing back on, on these spot Bitcoin ETF. She's like, I think the SEC made a bad decision. They were wrong in their ruling. And then we have Gary Gensler coming out today and basically bashing the approvals they just made. Oh yeah, Bitcoin's a speculative volatile asset that's used for drugs and money laundering and all this crap. And they cannot get him out of the SEC fast enough. It is, it is really crippling the industry right now. He is a terrible face that does not need to be associated with crypto or the SEC in any way. His personal bias is getting in the way of the decisions of the SEC and this industry, and he needs to be removed very, very quickly before he does further harm. That's the pullback that we're experiencing today. Should BTC be down at about 42K? No. Should SHIB be down at about 5096? No. It's because of this extra unnecessary FUD that is being put into the market time and time again. If you guys haven't noticed, every time we've gotten some semblance of good news, we've gotten some pushback. Again, this has been a very consistent theme. Now, I will say we're getting into an election cycle. Gary Gensler's term is almost up. We are going to have to work as a country and as an industry to put people in place that are pro crypto, that truly see the vision and not some of these old wigs that have no idea what the hell is going on, that don't understand the tech and that clearly wear their bias on their sleeve. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I think regardless, we're going to make great headway. I think we're going to make great runs here as we move into the future. And I think SHIB has some nice positive price potential in the future here and possibly even in the near term. So as always, this is not financial advice, but I hope you guys have a great night, a little later video than I wanted to do. But I think that it's important that people know what we're, what we're up against and what we have coming down the short-term pipeline here. So appreciate you guys as always show your love below, have a great night and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.